Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. I am back at the house. This time, I didn't bring my brother-in-law, Patrick. I didn't have Josh and Dakota. I came out alone, an empty car. And the trip is going to feel a little bit different this time because this will be one of the last trips I make out here. Um, I really have a few goals in mind on this trip. One is to try and get the inside of the house a little bit more caught up. There was some renovation work I had to do. Uh, but I also wanted to show you guys some before and afters of how the house started and how the house looks now. So we'll make sure to do that. It's uh, bittersweet that it's coming to an end, but um, you know, it's gonna be nice when I don't have to worry about it. Would I do it again? Yes, I'm crazy enough, I'd probably do this again. So if someone watching at home uh, in the Edmonton area has a house that's completely packed full of stuff and you want me to buy it, I might just consider doing something like that, which is crazy to say. Uh, but it's been quite an adventure. And I can see that the guys have been busy doing some repairs of the stucco, so any little cracks are filling. The parging, or the, the cement on the bottom there is getting filled, all the cracks are getting repaired. And I don't know how far they got with the paint. Uh, they've started to trim out around the windows on the side of the house. So things are progressing. Uh, looks like the guys are here also putting some new windows in. It's kind of strange to come out here by myself. Usually I come out with the Josh or Dakota. Um, but if I see right, I think there's someone up on my roof and it's not Santa Claus. So who's up on the roof today? Hello. Hey. So are you the twin? Yes. <laughs> I guess no matter if somebody says that, you were always the twin. <laughs> yeah, one of them. I'm one of them. One of them, yeah. So, uh, what are you working on today? Um, I'm just siliconing some cracks on the wall. Okay, getting it ready for paint. Yeah, I can see down here that this house was really riddled in little cracks, wasn't it? You kind of take it for granted when you see a house that's all painted. You can see that used to be a window. Once that's painted out, it won't be as noticeable. And I've got another pile of stuff going on here. Let's check out the shed. Hey, Hello. you're doing the uh, edging around the windows, getting ready for the walls? Yeah. Well, it's looking good. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you about the back, what used to be the back door here. Uh, we'll have to see if you guys can do something with uh, covering and painting, or I don't know what we're going to do there with that. Mm -hmm. And her pottery studio, her outdoor studio, is fully excavated. And I say that because it was completely treed in. All these little shrubs and bushes had grown in completely. She looks like it was a little hedge at one time. And behind it was her studio. I'm sure this must have been quite the going concern when there was seven foot flames shooting out of that with her pottery in there. Or the neighbors were real excited about that. Little wagon wheels. Kept a few things behind that I can reuse later on. And uh, he got most of this room cleared out. You know, that's all clay and debris on the ground at this point. But this little shed is pretty well cleared out. I don't know whether it can be saved or knocked down. It'd be nice to save it since it's kind of part of the historic site. This was her studio back in the 1960s. So I think it's important that it stays. But the next people can decide what they want to do a roof on it or fix it. I'll just make sure we leave it standing. And I'm going to go inside the house. Do a little bit of work in there. Looks like that's my new window for back here in the kitchen. Should be nice. Right now, this one doesn't open. So for those of you that might be thinking, well, we should have just kept the original window. It doesn't open. So if you want fresh air in your kitchen, which you probably might, you can't get it right now. So you will be soon. So it looks like they're going to be getting this thing installed right away. I've got to do a little walk around in the house. It seems like, it seems like I've got no power to the property. I don't know what's going on. None of my lights or switches seem to be working. So I don't know if my breakers are... Okay, well I've got a light. I must have, uh, must have had a trip breaker somewhere. Go check that out. And as I'm kind of looking around the main floor here, you know, the kitchen, I like. Some of you don't like the butcher block. I really like it, so it's staying. The curtains do not have a lot of fans out there. And I think the clincher was even my mom didn't like the curtains. So I might mix those up a little bit today. In the front area, well, we've got this very traditional dining room. And then we have this little mid-century seating area. 
which I don't really think fits the theme of the main floor. So I think I'm gonna redo this at some point this weekend to see if I can't decorate something, uh, make it a little bit more interesting in the front area. But for now, before I get into the decorating side of things, um, and keep in mind, I'm not, and I mentioned this before, we're not doing this on a huge budget. I'm not going out buying brand new furniture for the house. We're trying to upcycle or reuse as much as we possibly can from the house in the house. So I still am gonna limit myself to finding some cool pieces from in and around the property to use in the front hall. But I think I can do a little bit more interesting job with decorating up there that's gonna fit with the, tra with the uh, tradition and the style of the home. But uh, for now, I've gotta find where my screwdriver went to. Um, I keep setting stuff down, my keys, I'm just a hot mess right now. Um, somewhere in here, I've got my drill and I've gotta go upstairs and get the um, shower curtain rod installed for the upstairs bathroom. And yes, for those of you asking who said, oh, there's no shower curtain in that whole house, what an awful place. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I always quote the people who are kind of trolling me, but I do take uh, suggestions. I'm open to suggestions. And yes, we did have uh, plans to put a shower upstairs and there is one, but right now there's no curtain rod. So let's go deal with that. As I was about to hang up the shower curtain, I realized that I don't have a toilet paper holder. I don't have a towel holder. There's certain things you need in a washroom that I just don't have in there. So I've come to the local uh, bargain shop here in town. Yeah, it's exactly what it's called, bargain shop. Uh, and I'm gonna see what they have in their aisles of delight um, that might work in the washroom. Maybe get some hand towels and stuff too. I also wanna do something with the old stove that's in the basement here. So I'll see if I can't find a way to clean it up, find a little bit better home for it. I've been keeping it this whole time was over there in the corner for years. I kind of dragged it over here when I was doing the floors. But I think uh, I think it'll clean up maybe not too bad. S swept off, scraped whatever barnacles of rust I could off, and I'm gonna use some rust paint that I got at the local hardware store. Hopefully this stuff works okay. It doesn't require primer. This isn't a full restoration. This is just gonna be a decorative thing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But we're gonna put a little paint on there and see if she doesn't clean up. Now this is not nickel finish, might have been at one point, it's painted silver right now. I'm just going to go for a basic black finish on here, I'm not going to be too fussy about it. So for all those people watching at home saying, oh you need to prime or you need to do this or that, this is uh, paint and primer in one. And again, like I said, this is just, you know, trying to spruce something up for decoration. This is not a full restoration, it's just home decor at this point, but a little little paint should spruce this guy up. And I had a phone call today and the guy said, is your wife or uh, is it your girlfriend or your wife or girlfriend involved in the business? I said, yes, they both are. And then I had a long pause because I think he thought I was, <laughs> I was serious. Um, that's what happens when you try to have a sense of humor with uh, somebody who's more serious for a living than me. Uh, but yes, I told him my wife is involved in the business, whether she likes it or not sometimes, I think. Well, I'm gonna keep going around this and try and get sort of an even coat put all the way around and see just how good this thing will look. Already it's starting to look better. We'll see what it looks like with a full coat of paint. Let's see, tools needed, long tube, L-shaped tube. You'd think this would look easy enough. Kinda just looks like a big mess right now. Mm. And there's no stereotypical Ikea man with a question mark over his head. I guess I'll just have to figure this out. I might even have to resort to reading the instructions, which as my wife knows, I don't like to do. But let's we'll see if we can't figure this guy out. Well, this wouldn't be a shower if you're claustrophobic. Uh, my wife would hate this. She does not like confined small spaces, but I do have a shower curtain, at least anyway, installed. The shower head is kind of down below right there. So I have to mount it. I have a little mounting thing so it'll sit up top here. Oops, right there. But at least there's a shower now. At least I can have a shower in the upstairs washroom now. It's a little bit confined, kind of like a mime in a glass box. I wonder if a mime's ever been trapped in a real glass box. People were like, this guy's really good. <laughs> oh, the things that go through my head when I'm all by myself. Yeah, alone in the house. Well, I'm gonna go start on some other projects around the house. Uh, oh, actually, before I do that, I put the mirror up behind me. Mirror is in place. You guys know why vampires can never go see psychiatrists? Because they can't reflect. That's right. <laughs> I'm 
one of the painters working on the roof. And my instinct is to bang on the window and scare him half to death. <laughs> but I know that's probably not a great idea when a guy's standing on the edge of a roof. So I will restrain myself. But should he watch this video later? Well, no, that's what I was thinking. And here are the little Devonware fruit plates. They're up in the attic. I'm going to try and put them here in the kitchen. I've got this big empty wall I haven't done anything with, so I can maybe do a couple of them in a picture or try and group something to make something on the wall. But I've got those, now just go find maybe something else to add to it. Well, at least there's something a little bit more summery, flowery on the wall, and I think those staggered kind of plates look very 1950s-ish in our little kitchen here. Then I'm just kind of hanging out, painting some trim in the laundry room. And when it's quiet in here and I'm kind of all by myself, um, sometimes I'll sing. Sometimes I will listen to comedy albums. I've been listening to, who did I listen, who have I been listening to? My, my dad was a big Stephen Wright fan. <laughs> you know, he, he actually was such a big Stephen Wright fan. He went to a show of his. And Stephen Wright's the guy with kind of the crazy hair. And he kind of talks like this. Like, you know, he's very, very monotone and mellow. Um, so he's telling jokes, dry Stephen Wright kind of jokes. And my dad liked that humor. I do too. And uh, <laughs> my dad, I guess, was laughing so hard at the show that Stephen Wright had to stop the show and ask my dad if he was okay. <laughs> and I think he offered to give him like a job as one of the guys that like basically goes to your show. Or he joked about offering him a job. He's like, I should pay you to come to my shows. And my dad was like, yeah, but he, he really likes Stephen Wright. Uh, John Mulaney I've been listening to a bit lately. He's a funny guy. If you guys haven't listened to any John Mulaney or Dimitri Martin, he's pretty good. Uh, and in terms of music, I don't know. Sometimes it'll be the old, the oldies, like the Ramones uh, or Sex Pistols or uh, Johnny Cash, obviously. Some of the old country stuff. But uh, I really grew up on listening to the Smiths and Depeche Mode and kind of that 80s new wave stuff, thanks to my older brother who was more of that generation. So there was a fair bit of angsty, you know, moody Morrissey music in my past. Um, mind you, Morrissey, Morrissey and Johnny Cash have basically the same hairdo. It's like this big uh, pompadour kind of thing, which sometimes I do. Uh, so it's pretty easy to, to emulate an old school. Either you could be a Morrissey fan or you could be a Johnny Cash fan. Nobody would know the difference uh, <laughs> until you uh, start turning on your radio and they can tell right away. But I'm gonna finish up on the trim in this room here. Uh, I'm gonna put another coat of clear coat in this, in this space before uh, I kind of wrap up the laundry room. This room was neglected for a little while because it became a workspace. And as a result, the floor got a little dirty and damaged, so I'm gonna have to redo some spots of it. But uh, yeah, should probably go eat something soon too. It's almost, I think, seven o'clock and I haven't stopped for lunch or anything. So uh, between paint fumes and floor fumes, I'm sure I'm gonna be uh, a ton of fun before long here. Before I go for dinner though, I'm gonna get rid of this coffee table. I like the one that uh, I asked Josh to put together for me out of the trunk. I don't like it out here. I'm not sold on this little seating area in the front. I think I'm gonna completely redo this tomorrow, but I am gonna get that uh, trunk coffee table and put it in this room. And then maybe I can do something else with this. Okay, it's nearly the end of the night. And what have I done so far? Well, I haven't eaten yet. That's one thing I haven't done. Uh, but here's what I did do. I refinished, you can, I can't see it. I did the, uh, where is it, the laundry room. Back over there, I redid the floors in the laundry room, repainted the trim white, cut new baseboards, <laughs> Got the upstairs washroom more or less finished up with the shower curtain, uh, new, well, old, but new mirror back in place. Um, started refinishing the uh, old furnace, or the, not furnace, the old stove that was uh, in the basement, which is starting to look good. Um, I feel like I got a lot done considering I got here late in the afternoon. Uh, the trim got that painted white in the upstairs washroom too. So things are coming together. I'm going to try and head out of the house now and get some fresh air because um, I think all these paint fumes are starting to get to me. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna go take a breather while I wait for that stuff to dry and uh, then come back and finish up. And maybe I'll do something about the drape situation, which you guys don't like those drapes, which I don't know, I thought they, I kind of, I got them. I'll tell you why, I got them because I thought it was gonna be all kind of plain in here and we need a little pattern and it matched kind of the upstairs bathroom tile. 
but you guys represent the overall greater good uh, and eventually somebody's gonna have to buy this place and if most of you don't like it that means a future buyer might not like it as well so those curtains are gonna come down and we'll do a little uh, rearranging in the front I got rid of the coffee table put it in the other room and I've got to come up with a new some kind of way to decorate the front here not crazy about the old mid-century chairs they're just not in the greatest shape not I mean refinished they're really cool in that condition kind of makes the front of the house when you first walk in look a little dumpy so we're gonna do something about that, but that's gonna be tomorrow project. But for now, I, I need to go and get out of the house because the uh, very thin fumes are starting to get to me. Next morning, got a lot of work to do today, as usual. Um, definitely a lot lonelier in the house without having uh, some friends around with me. Um, what's that, Pickle Rick? Oh, Pickle Rick says he's lonely too. You wanna go get some breakfast? Hmm, pickles go good on everything? I don't know about that, Pickle Rick. <laughs> Well, I'm off to grab some breakfast. I must have slept okay last night because I don't have my stereotypical really dark circles under my eyes. In fact, that's the first time probably in months that I've maybe had a good night's sleep. So thank you, house, for what was a very good night's sleep. And I'm gonna go eat. I don't think I'll bring Pickle Rick anything, even though he's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get some food. Looks like I might have company. There appears to be a red truck, a red solo truck with a guy with some windows. Yeah, I'm gonna freak him out. Oh, he's coming to the window. Ah! <laughs> yeah, now I'm just staring at a guy through a window. Well, uh, looks like they're putting some more windows in or putting some trim on. That's good news. And in just a few minutes, the store opens up and I'm gonna redecorate the front area here today. I've started peeling some of the furniture out of the front because I didn't like how it was set up. It just, you walk in and then there's grubby old mid-century furniture and stuff in what is a uh, craftsman style home. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I don't mind the bookcase. Uh, I'll probably keep that there. I might take out the National Geographics and put proper books in. But uh, not the National Ge Geographics aren't interesting reading, but um, normal books uh, look a little bit nicer in a bookcase. So I'll probably switch that out. And I don't know why, uh, maybe it's because I slept really well. I'm really hyper this morning. Uh, I talked to my sister, Heather, um, my new sister, she's not new to herself, but she's new to me, so forever she shall be new sister, Heather, because uh, it's her birthday today, and we were talking about how uh, I learned to all of my construction skills from watching Ernest Goes to Camp, <laughs> which is a great thing to be doing uh, electrical in a house by yourself uh, in the morning on a ladder, but I am living and surviving, and everything seems to be going well. I'm gonna, let's see, let's go look at the laundry room, see how that went yesterday. So you can't really tell, well, it's shinier, I guess you can tell it's shinier. So this, let's see, yesterday I painted the trim around the door. That's the door. That's the trim. That's the frame around the door that got painted. I put uh, baseboard all the way around the edge where the washing machine's gonna go. And now I'm more or less just waiting for this to dry. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm not waiting for it to dry because I'm standing on it. It is dry. Um, what am I waiting for in here? I guess just for me to have the time to come in and clean all this stuff up, which is gonna happen later on. Gotta grab some garbage bags. Uh, but I wanna focus on the front entranceway, the front living room here a little bit too. Uh, try and make it look a little bit more appealing. Um, so down I go to, well, I have to clean the floor up first, sweep it, mop it, and then I can start bringing some different stuff up here to decorate with. But I do have something different planned for right there. Gotta go get it. It's the moment you decide to carry a heavy cast iron stove from a basement upstairs by yourself that you wish you had some friends with you. Um, but I'm almost there. A few more steps. The thing that's really been bugging me is there are a few light switches in the house that really look gross. With the old and in with the new. This switch was acting up before. The new one will hopefully resolve that. You can hear it's not really clicking very good, so I don't think it was making a good connection. Well, it looks like they bought it mm, from hometown. Who knows how long that was in the wall for. Either way, it's time to switch it out and fresh Plate cover will make all the difference. It's better, so to make sure it works. Crazy, I hadn't actually gone through some of these drawers all the way up. Look, Lone Ranger. Doubt that it's signed by him. Mind you, who would sign it, the Lone Ranger? I guess he would. TV star for Nestle's Quick. The Quick as a Wink chocolate drink. Kind of neat. That's from the hardware store I've been going to. I'm actually gonna take that to them later today. Probably need more stuff in there anyway. Yes, many generations have shopped at that hardware store. 
Drumsticks. Cool. One dollar bill. You guys always say the Canadian money looks funny. We don't even have one dollar bills anymore. There's a letter here too. We find ourselves in a position hmm, to see what that was about. Right now, I've decided to move upstairs. I was searching through the drawers a little bit on the old uh, dresser, found a few cool things. But this would have been the main bedroom that I'm in right now. This is the room that has the uh, floors with patina, um, a little bit of the blue on it. I'm gonna make this back into the master bedroom, which means I've gotta move the bedroom set that I have in the other room over here uh, and kinda get it all set up and decorated in here. It's a much larger room, much bigger space. I think it'll show better when we eventually uh, are ready to list this house. So I'm gonna go and start on that. upstairs moving stuff around um, I had Tim and his brother-in-law come over and they started getting ready to pull some stuff out of the basement and I can see that they were busy guys so we come down the stairs and look at the pile of garbage this is when you hope that a person decides not to change their mind when they commit to doing a job like if Tim was like yeah I know we said we we're gonna haul the garbage out we have decided against it now that would really stink uh, but he has gone through and basically ripped out the shelving, which is what I wanted. We're gonna try and open this all back up so I can clean and paint these walls at some point. Um, so yeah, he said he's basically got it all ready. Look at that. It's like a disaster zone in here. It's the aftermath of the San Francisco earthquake is what's happened down here. Um, yeah, boy, I just came down here looking for spray paint because I wanna try and clean up this old vent. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to find it or reach it where I'm at. Hmm. At least I have one little area back over there. It doesn't look too bad. But the rest of this might have to wait until next weekend because I don't think he's coming back until Saturday to clear all this out. Hmm. And those are some big nuts. I mean, seriously, that's like an inch and a half nut. So there's Carmen making the magic happen. Well, once you get the edging done, that goes on nice. Yeah, it doesn't take long. That's fantastic. And because I didn't have enough stress in my life right now, I thought I'd add a little bit more. I contacted a realtor who's gonna come tomorrow and take pictures of the house, which is exciting news because it means we might actually be able to move on from the property and start looking at um, getting this whole general store we're thinking about getting. But it means I have to basically clean the entire place spotless so it's ready for pictures. I've got a heck of a lot of work to do. Um, I called the guys that are doing the gutters because they ripped off all the old gutters which are lying around outside and uh, they're gonna come pick that up this afternoon. So if they get their stuff cleaned up and I get the interior looking good, um, then we should be pretty much uh, in shape to, to show this place. So lots of mopping, lots of cleaning, lots of waxing, lots of stuff for me to do today. Uh, it's just after lunchtime right now and I'm gonna plow through and continue on upstairs and work my way down to the main floor. I'm gonna work on cleaning up the old banister here. It's gotten pretty dusty. All this work has been going on. Definitely overdue for a little cleaning. See if we can't make it look just a tiny bit better. It's looking better already. Right now the guys are up pulling the rotted fascia off, getting ready to put new stuff on. I'm burning off some deadfall outside, getting the yard cleaned up. And pretty soon we'll have some new gutters on the house. New soffit fascia going on. Big improvement already. You guys must want in really badly. You're knocking pretty hard. 
the strongest top two nails in history. There we go. Almost got it. I changed my mind, let's put it back. <laughs> you guys are making short work. What a mess though. My next door neighbor's yard is pretty well perfect. It's pristine. I see he's flying all the different flags that you can fly, including Canada's old flag, the Union flag. And my yard. <laughs> Well, it's better than it was let's put it that way you know it, it has its certain charms kind of like a neglected national park that you don't expect much of um, but I'm getting pretty happy with the way it's looking out here you got most of the sticks cleaned up out here and I can see that the buds are starting to let's come up to the hedge you can kind of see look it's alive I'm gonna have a living little hedge here pretty soon I bet once it starts greening up, this will all look very nice, but for now, I'm having neighbor envy for the yard. But I'll come along quick enough. It's 10.30 at night, feeling pretty tired, as I should be since I've been up since 6.30 this morning. Went to the pizza place where they, for whatever reason, this town only has buy one, get one free pizza. So if you just want one pizza and you don't want the other one, they're still gonna give you a second pizza. So I've got a pizza in my fridge that I don't really want or need. I guess that's what will be for breakfast tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the waitress didn't recognize me, which is fine. I'm not expecting to get recognized. But there was another girl working there. I assume she was a waitress or worked there. Maybe she was the owner, who knows? Um, but she recognized me. Um, after I was done my meal, I went up and I said, hey, I'm ready to pay. And she went, ah! Which isn't usually what you <laughs> expect. You expect to scare somebody half to death uh, when they recognize you from YouTube, but that's what I did tonight. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, I've got the realtor coming to have a look at the house. So I've been busy cleaning, pretty much getting things all tidied up around the house so it looks good, and uh, preparing to do my final walkthrough video for you guys of the interior anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna leave Pickle Rick behind the door upstairs. <laughs> when she opens the door, uh, might give her a bit of a fright, but <laughs> I'm a bit of a practical joker too, so. Uh, dear realtor lady who I've not met yet, I'm sorry, but uh, let's hope it was worth the laugh. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. Uh, well, I guess that's a lie. I'm not going to bed yet. It's 1030 night. I'm going to put a coat of clear on the bathroom floor down here. And then I'm going to bed because I'm getting awfully tired. So uh, tomorrow I'll do a walkthrough video and then, uh, yeah, try and um, hopefully get this place listed. Night, Rick. Good night, Alex. It's the last day for me this weekend. Realtor is going to be here in about an hour, and I realize that I have a weird problem happening upstairs. Let me show you. So light in the bathroom. Switch makes it work. That seems normal, right? Light in the other room. Works with the pole chain, but it's working. Here's the thing. I turn the light on for this room. Light goes on. All seems good in the world, except when I turn that switch on in the bedroom, it turns all the lights off in the other two rooms. So somehow the light switch in that room is controlling these two rooms here. And I think what it is, is there's a junction box in the uh, up in this light fixture. So I've got an electrician here to check it out because that is really annoying. Wish I would have known that last night when I was trying to use the bathroom and I thought I had no lights. <laughs> in the washroom. That was super fun. So we're gonna see if he can't figure out what's going on. And it's official, the house is getting listed later today. While the fellows finish up the outside, it should be just about ready for resale. Have a little bit of work to do in the porch, but I say give it a week or so and this thing's gonna be wrapped up. <sighs> Let's see how this goes. But I think now it's time that we do a little reminiscing and remember what this property looked like when I first picked it up. I think I need something to help turn back time. I think I might have found it. I think it's time 
to make it snow. So this is the property which I bought. You kind of can't see it right now because it's treed. It's on, I would say about a half acre of land. It's a double lot. It's a two story home. Actually, it's got a third story attic. And structurally, when I was in there yesterday, it didn't seem that bad. So I'm hoping that we can do something with it. A lot of these trees will probably have to go so you can see the front, but to kind of get an idea. That's what I just bought. She definitely made good use of her square footage in here, didn't she? <laughs> well, I mean, how, where would the where would the heat even come out of? Yeah. You know, all the vents are probably plugged. Good thing we picked a warm weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know if this was pretty below, I sure would have been a So this is currently the kitchen. And this is my priority to get uh, cleaned out today because this is where probably the biohazards are going to be. Um, a lot of rotted food, things like that. Uh, this is where mice will probably be. So we're going to try and get this kitchen cleared out. Once this room is cleared out, then we'll move on to the next, which is the dining room, presumably. Uh, and that will give us a path to the basement. So this is what I'm working on here. I'm going to start uh, checking out anything that's food and just start uh, going crazy cleaning it. Okay, we'll now, get it. A... What we could do there's a dozen is, pipe table in here too. Is, is we could pile all the stuff in one corner. Yeah, okay. And then you can go through it, whatever you want, and we'll make a little room there kind of thing. Well, I'll just, I'm okay just digging. Okay. You well, know. Both... Well, I'm, you know, I'm sure there's stuff, I mean, there's there's a room there. So that's the other half of the house. Have, has anybody happened. been in there? There's... So first time in this room, it's like another little kitchenette, it's a fairly big size. There is a skull, a really old bison skull in the corner. I'm going to try and dig that out. It's kind of a neat piece.
How's she going, Don? Good, I'm gonna work my way upstairs here, I think. Or maybe try and get into one of these rooms we didn't get in. Master seems okay. I'm going through. You don't even know what you're stepping on. coffee table there. Okay. So this is the staircase here. As staircases often do, they go up. There's a nice little, uh, this is a drop leaf desk. Yeah, that's the desk I was talking about. Yeah. No, it's not roll top. It's a, it's a drop down desk. It's not bad though. You know, there's a nice, there's a little soapstone here, which I'd be interested in. There's a roll top desk down here somewhere. Well, I doubt whether anybody took anything out of this house. They would have took, taken one step in here. There's some of her pottery, maybe. Uh, no, that's not her. Oh, it's not hers? There is pottery in this room. Okay. But there's another half, a whole half of the house. So what was she saving all the clothes for? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. She started out, this was stuff for the grandchildren and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it just kind of got the best of her, right? But yeah, I know. It's 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 treat my stuff with care, <laughs> but it's it's hard to to think about that. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe years of being covered in clothing preserved it somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Good thing we don't have rats in Alberta. To the right, yeah. To the right there is car and so this room here? Yeah. There's a bathroom. Well, that's what you wonder is if in the drawers there's like old, you know, razors and things like that. Your dad wasn't a fan of all this? No. Let's see if we can make a light work up here. 
Yeah, if you're heading towards the... Well, there's electricity, but there's no light bulb. No light bulb, yeah. Okay. So she was clamoring around and all this. That's that room, that door there where it says mugs. Mugs, that's yeah. That's the one that's going up to the attic. Well, I'm making the trek over. Yeah, I'm not taking the mugs. What'd you hit? Yeah, there's an old clock there, Alex, sitting over there, one of those windows. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Well, there's the one on the top there, too. There's, uh, yeah, there's a clock there, and there's another one down below, an alarm oh, clock. There's oh, two clocks. Oh, that's just, somebody took the drawer out. It's, it's right here. Karen, it's right here. Oh, that's it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's nothing in there anymore. <laughs> yeah. We'll get a couple flashlights, two tomorrow on some light bulbs. <laughs> Wherever we can find a place to plug them in, we'll plug in the light bulbs. Old stuff. hats? Yeah. I remember that checker one, Dad had that in one of his pictures that yeah, I, I saw. Some, um, actually, we bought it, um, one of the farm clothes. You got to watch your step over here, Don. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This little uh, miniature stove is kind of neat. But I'm interested to see what's in the attic, because that's the stuff that's going to be forgotten for a long time, right? Oh yeah, the attic stuff has been there for a long time. I was going to look at the clothes here. Like, see this old workwear jacket? Yeah. That's, you know, people buy that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm flipping through. I know you guys are standing behind me wanting me to move, probably, but... No, I don't want you to do anything. I want you just to uh, look through wherever you want and enjoy whatever you want. And... Well, as long as I don't find a... A bunch of baby mice. <laughs> they should be dead by now. Well, they're all probably hiding for the season. There's that Hound, one duck. Hound's tooth coat. <laughs> what I'm hoping is, you know, there'll be some kind of old service stations, old newspapers. down in here. Yeah, you kind of almost have to be careful that you can get back out once you get in there. Eh? Yeah, you know, I got to do some paintings, lots of clothing, really cool Sunny Boy cereal calendar. That's actually a really good piece. An old Nordstrom coat. Like I said some of the clothing might be collectible to some. That looks like an old nurse's outfit. Automatic in there. I might have to call somebody who's into vintage clothing and have them come out. Let's see if they're interested in any of this.
feels like there's a like a checkbook or something else in here. It's mainly just receipt. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Da, da. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's over a thousand. There's probably there's probably like twenty five hundred bucks here. Holy cow. I guess dinner's really on me today. <laughs> that was just in a little Goodwill bag. Okay. Well, that made today worthwhile, right there.
what an amazing adventure this has been. And I can't believe it's only been a few months from a home that was slated for demolition to now a beautiful historic site that will be saved and cherished hopefully for years to come. Uh, the interior is coming along very nicely and very soon the outside will be just as pleasant to look at as the inside is. I appreciate you guys coming along on this adventure and for watching this week's episode. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll make sure to get the uh, updates when our videos come out. You can check us out on Instagram at Curiosity Inc. Y E G and on Facebook under Curiosity Incorporated. Um, stay tuned for more episodes, lots more adventures coming, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.